Welcome to Voices of Reason. I am your host, The Yard, and today we have a special guest today, Mr. Top Flight. I'd like to keep Omaha in shape, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How you doing? No, I'm good. You know, I'm living and everything. Why don't you tell the people a little bit about yourself? Hey, um, Mr. Top Flight, I'm in the community of North Omaha um, to get the city in shape. You know, we have um, a lot of serious uh, issues with health effects down in our community, and I feel like I'm that superhero to come and fix it and get everything going. Uh, back in where it needs to be, um, fixing the high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, oh, okay. you know, ra raising the awareness of that and letting people know that, you know, fast food isn't the only option, you know, um, that's not the only way to fuel your body, you know, there's other ways to fuel your body by eating right, and it's not only for the look, it's for the feeling. Yeah, that's true, you know, I, I definitely, definitely understand that because, you know, every time I look, even when I go through the drive through it's a little longer than it should be. I don't think a lot of people should be eating that. But let's get to how did you, what, what made you want to be like, you know, I think I should help my city out, you know, make us look good for ourselves. You know, what, what drove you to that? Well, what drove me to it is, you know, I'm a professional athlete as well. I'm a professional fighter. And, um, you know, that's the lifestyle that I live. I understand the back and forth with how it feels to eat bad and how it feels, you know, trying to get in shape. I know how much stress that can put on your body when you're not eating right. Um, and I know how good it feels when you are eating right. And not only that, but I got family as well, you know, who uh, suffers for diabetes. You know, mother and father have diabetes, grandparents have it. So it's like, you know, if, 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 if this is something that's common, then let's make it uncommon by fixing this problem by eating correctly. Yeah, that's right. So I know that you have that love and that drive to help the community, which is great. I know they appreciate you for that. But did you start thinking about that at the time you were fighting? Like, tell us when you first decided to put the gloves on, you know, let people know you got. Um, I, I decided to put the gloves on when I was bo when I was born. You know, I pretty much didn't have a choice because my dad was a professional fighter as well. So, you know, just growing up in the gym, watching him train and um, you know always having gloves on hitting the bags it turned into me just hitting the bags and me training on the bags and me fighting okay and um, that 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 carried me on throughout my whole life I'm still fighting now I'm a professional fighter uh, record seven and one uh, three knockouts so um, it's just a very busy lifestyle balancing out boxing and training right now yeah, seven and one seven and one hey man don't hit me <laughs> <laughs> so um how far do you plan on making it as far as like the boxing? Is it just like something you just love to do or are you trying to get like a title reign, you know? Or you I would love to... I would love to get a title. I would love to. Um, right now, my biggest battle is balancing out, you know, my schedule between business and, and my career. I'm figuring out which one is, is the most important, which both are important. You know, um, fitness is some, that pillow, that cushion to fall back on when boxing is all said and done with, and, you know, and right now it's, it's coming and lifting off the ground. So, you know, I'm balancing them both out. But the ultimate goal when I have those gloves on is to become a world champion. Okay. So when you take the gloves off and you go back to as far as the fitness, you know, I understand, like, you know, when it comes to fitness, everybody is not, you know, they're not, um, what I want to say, gym worthy. Right. They like to take the pace at their own hands. Is there a certain way or a certain technique that you use to get people comfortable on how they do the exercise? Uh, yes, um, pretty much I let people know before you walk into these doors and you come and sign up with me, you knew what you were getting yourself into. My thing is, is I'm, I give results. The only way these people are getting results is they're putting the hard work in. So you have a decision to make before you even come and see me because it's gonna be serious. It's either we're going to, you know, change your lifestyle around or you're going to go train with somebody else. Okay. There's only one option when you're with me, and it's changing your lifestyle around. Okay, so as far as, like, uh, the fitness, do you do, do you do a little bit of boxing training? Or? Oh, we do a lot of bit of boxing training. I kind of give them the same life aspects that I have to go through as far as being a fighter. Um, with eating right, dieting is the most important thing. You're never going to meet your goal if you're not eating right. Um, the mindset. Mindset is everything. You know, it takes you a long way. If you wake up in the morning and you know you're getting ready to work out, put some fuel in your body. When you're done working out, fuel your body again to replenish your muscles. I can kind of take them to the, through the steps 
of a professional athlete. So I train everybody as if they're, they're are an athlete. Oh, okay. So you say, like, replenish your muscles. Like, give us a prime example. Of Replenishing like, your you muscles. Some people out there, they like, replenish your muscles. Exactly. Because everybody's not, you know, up to par as far as, like, the... The fitness aspect. Yeah. So uh, replenishing your muscles is after a nice workout, you know, your metabolism is going fast. And if you don't uh, put fuel back into your body, your metabolism will eat up at your muscles. And then you'll start gaining that dehydration look. So after you're done working out, you know, put protein in you, protein shake, uh, 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 walnuts, peanuts, you know, almonds, you know, have you some food, some eggs, bacon, something like that. Eat after you work out, you know, just to replenish yourself. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. So let's get to as far as like making the city look good. Now, the community aspect of it, right? Like, does that affect anything that you would do? You know how. Oh, you know the usual, the crime and everything, but we're talking, nowadays it's like more of a polit polit political type deal. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be your viewpoint on that as far as the community is concerned? Um, as far as um, getting them in shape, like what is my, repeat that for me one more time. It's like, um, you know how, you know, crime is always everywhere. Right. Everywhere. That's just a no-brainer. Right. Well, I'm saying as far as like, um, let's say like, anything to do with housing, with kids, with you living in your neighborhood, the day-to-day -day things that you have to deal with. Like, what do you see as far as, like, how can things change on your behalf? Or, like, what do you do to help them change besides, like, the fitness? Do you give them, like, a mental oh, understanding? Oh, yeah, uh, most definitely, man. We, like I said, mindset is everything. We always talk mindset inside of our establishment. And, you know, being cautious of, you know, uh, how you, you know, move your daily steps, how you take your daily steps from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. You know, uh, your mindset is going to take you everywhere. I feel like fitness is very important because it distracts those, that, that free time, you know, that people have to go out and do things that they're not supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Come in and get involved with putting time into yourself with, you know, getting your body in shape. You know, the moment you take um, the time away from, doing the things that you're not supposed to be doing and you invested in yourself, it eliminate all the distractions around in our community. I feel like that's what's going to shape up North Omaha. Exactly, because, you know, they have more things to do. Mm -hmm. They've got too, a lot end. of free time, too much free time. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, what would, besides, you know, I know you have the diet set for them, but I know it's still upon them. But it's like, as far as like how you keep in shape, what do you use to keep in shape? Because, you know, I know some people, they have like they certain little salads or they certain little protein drinks or whatever. Is there a certain little secret that you want to share with the people? Hard work. <laughs> That's it? Hard, hard work? work. That's hard work, dedication, and um, just being mindful of my body, you know, when I'm starting to feel uncomfortable, you know, because I'm not going to make it seem like I'm perfect and I eat proper every single day. I don't. You know, I'm a normal human. I like, you know, I like to have me some fast food here and there. I'm not really a fried food eater, but I really like, I like to have me some wings, you know, indulge on some wings a little bit. Yeah, wings you know, and things. Yeah, yeah, wings and things, you know, have a drink or two here and there. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is you got to be mindful of your body. You got to know when you're feeling uncomfortable and be like, okay, now I'm re reaching that point where I got to get back to, uh, to that shape and that mindset that I deserve to be in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing the fitness? I know you've been doing boxing all your life. Right. When you started doing the fitness, like, what, what around what time did that start to partake in? Uh, 2013, July 15th is when I started business as being a trainer. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this, this summer is going on my fifth year. Fifth year? Fifth year. That means you're getting progress. Yes. That's all that represents is progress. Yes. Is there any other kind of business you wouldn't mind venturing into? Because I know right now, five years, you should be comfortable at doing what you're doing, which means, you know, you have stability, you have your regular clients. Right. Is there another kind of business you would like to venture into since, you know, you have that kind of under control? Uh, right now, um, I feel like the business that I'm in is like, a hundred other businesses that dealing with just fitness alone. So uh, one thing you know that I'm looking into is we have a lot of 
you know, beautiful women here in Omaha, Nebraska. And I feel like a lot of them have talent and potential to make it to another level with modeling. I, I've come across women that like to model, come across women that like to do interviews, come across a lot of talented women and, 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 and guys around here as well. But primarily a lot of women who, who uh, come to me, they have a lot of talent. So I'm getting into the entertainment field right now. I got some things cooking up where, you know, trying to build hosts, you know, um, trying to build, you know, um, uh, a lot of models, hosting models right now is the first two things that I'm uh, focusing on building up right now with the clients that I have. Okay, I see. You know, you're trying to bring the beautiful women out, let everybody yeah. know that the middle of map. Ah, we got yeah. these beautiful yeah, women. Yeah, we have a lot of beautiful women here. You know, we just got to get the, get the mindset together. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. So, uh, is it does it be a little difficult? You know how some women, you know, just being women, mm -hmm. please don't take it the wrong way, ladies, but sometimes some women come in, you know, with the mindset that they're not they don't feel like pushing as hard as they did yesterday or so forth and so on like is there did you come across any kind of all the time all the time it's okay process. how do you deal with it because <laughs> everything everything is a process you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i'm not expecting anybody to come in and right off the back the very first day you got to give it 110 percent you know if we start in that 20 we're going to work our way up through the weeks because you don't want to get somebody to jump in or something and you push them too hard to the point they don't come back so okay. some, some, sometimes I might want to say something to them, but I'm very understanding. You know, when you're tired, you're tired. We got to build that endurance up. You know, I know what it feel like to be tired. So I understand. Okay. But we got to keep, you know, elevating. That's what Top Flight is for, is going to another level. Okay. So there's levels to this. So the model part, so is it like you're going to have, I know you probably got the building and the size for it. So is it going to be just like they have to go through the fitness progress first? Yes. Or, okay, they have to go through that yes. first? Yes. What will be the necessary steps afterward? Uh, the necessary steps after that is we, you, um, well, we sit down and we talk and we figure out, you know, where do we go from here? Where do we fit as far as, you know, maybe hosting a, a fitness class, you know, or maybe hosting a, um, a um, you know, day party or something like that. You know, just bringing different type of events throughout this community that it bring people together and, um, you know, uh, raise the awareness of a healthy lifestyle, you know. Um, and not even just a healthy lifestyle, but just advancing in life, period. You know what I mean? Taking one person from here and moving them there, you know, elevating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely you the man for that. Now, let's get to the logo on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Put the gut into your butt. Yeah. That's nice. Yes. What made you even come up with that kind of slogan? Because, you know, mo mo I know most men, they like the butt. Mm -hmm. that's, probably, that's pretty much the main thing we look at. So it's like, um, like with the model part, would you try to get them, or you, or you just trying to keep like the model part? You just want them, as far as like, how I want to say this, like, petite and slim. Would you like to keep them that uh, way? There's so many different things with fitness. You know, like a lot of people think, you know, when you get in fitness, you got to get skinny. You could be thick, fit, you know, petite, fit, curvy, fit, you know, fit, fit, fit. It don't matter. You know, just if you're big and you, and that's where your body type is at. Then be thick fit, be curvy fit. Okay. You know, but a lot of women, this slogan uh, came from, you know, put your gut in your butt. A lot of women come for that reason. And, you know, um, it's really? just, yeah, a lot of women want their stomach, you know, lose their stomach and, and, and increase their glutes. So, you know, I call myself Mr. Put Your Gut in Your Butt because that's what I've been doing for, in this city with a lot of women is helping them lose their stomach and enhance their glutes. So I just say, you know what, I'm Mr. Put Your Gut in Your Butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. So let's um let's get back to the community. Right. Let's say like um have you ever like when you like go out to eat or anything, you know, even when you just you know, being just, you know, a human that day, yeah. you know, a normal human being. Like when you see somebody like do you kinda like you don't like advertise yourself like you know I can help you do this kind of deal or would they do they just come to you like it, it, it just, like if they came to you, like, what would be, you would have to examine them, you know, like, what, what kind of body shape are you looking for? Is, that, is it that kind of deal? Because I don't know too much about fitness. You uh -huh. know, probably a lot of viewers don't, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like how, would, how would you approach that? Um, if I see someone out in public, I'm not going to interrupt their time and enjoying themselves. You know, it's a time and a place for everything, you know. And I, sometimes I like to shut that mode down where I'm not being such a drill sergeant with being a fitness a guru and things like that. I just try to let people enjoy their lives and live a little, 
But if I see them and I stumble across them on social media, I might jump in the inbox and say, hey, be mindful what you put in your body. You got to pull out, you know, because just like you put a seed in the ground, you know, it's going to grow a plant and you put food in your body. It's going to grow a gut. OK, you know, so be mindful what you put in. You must pull out, you know, come and see me, uh, try a free session and let me know what you think. All right. you know, sometimes that might be my approach or a lot of times a lot of women approach me or a lot of people approach me to just get them in shape. Okay. Um, do you uh, work with kids too as well? I work with kids as well. And I, and I get that question because everybody always see a lot of ladies, but I train a lot. I train men, women, kids. If your dog need to be trained, I'll train him too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You said you're going to train the dog. And I train the dog. And I let you know where your mindset is at. You right. know, you're straight positive with it. So as far as like um, as many people as you have, like how many at a time that you deal with? Because I know you probably have, you do have different <coughs> sessions. I yes. Because I know you have one in the morning mm -hmm. and you have one in the afternoon and one in the evening. Yes. So how does, um, how does your, you know, your group, your expansion, how does that work? I mean, it's, like it's, do everybody be in a line and just do the regular thing or does everybody do various uh, we might we'll switch them off and we'll break them down. You know, I have me and my father right now, who's uh, he's um, another trainer, a part of Top Flight Fitness. And what we do is we'll break them down in half. You know, we've been having numbers in classes uh, range from 25 to 30 people in the class. So we have break them down, you know, where I can handle 10 or 15 and he'll handle 15 and we'll switch them out. Or maybe one day we'll do it where everybody's together and we're moving at one beat, one drum. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, wow, um, that's a lot of people. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so that's like a different. That's like a lot of minds going at once. So let's say, if it expands, let's say per se, seventy-five people. Right. How would you deal with that? that one that's beat, a, that's one a, beat, one drum. I, I have. I'm very. I have a lot of pride and a lot of confidence. If I have a hundred people behind me, I feel like I'm. In, I'm the guy to lead a whole army. So if it, it, the numbers don't scare me. I demand the attention when I'm speaking because you guys came to me to get you in shape. So if that's what we're here for, listen up and let's and let's make sure our forms correctly or correct it, and then let's get to work. You know, the way it's going, you're going to end up hitting that number and maybe more. Yes. So let's get to. You say you was trying to get into jewelry a little bit. You know. Well, my brother is a, a jeweler here in Omaha, Nebraska, and mm -hmm. he's um he is my jeweler. So. I'm just investing into him and making sure he take off to another level as well. You know, um, it, he, he pretty much got that sold up. So I let him keep his feet in the door. I just stick a hand in and, and, and hand a helping dollar wherever he's needed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as, like, as far as like the business part of it. Right. You know, I know you said there's like a hundred different businesses in the, um, in the fitness. Right. Now, I know you probably have, you have a full gym, but is there any way like you probably want to open up another building or are you thinking like that far ahead oh yeah um and through and, and due time i am planning on opening up a big building um and having my own space down in the north omaha community right now i'm located with terrence crawford and it's a blessing to share the same space and environment with him right now because we have a beautiful thing going down on 30th and sprague okay. um that community you drive through there is just that street ain't the same no more it's packed you know yes it and is. it's packed with people trying to you know make an impact on their lives so um, I love what we got going on. So to find a building or some space nearby that location and do time within a few years would be a lovely, beautiful thing where we could stay in a connection and do business together. That's a good thing. Yes. And I noticed you've been working with Crawford sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. How long you been working with that baby man for? Uh, I have to sit here and really think about the years. We got years invested with our friendship. Yeah, a lot of years? A lot of years invested with our friendship. That's, that's, a, that's my thing. brother. That's, that's a, my brother. That's a great thing right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So has he, uh, has he been, you know, you've been training with him. Right. So that's, oh, man. Yeah. So you know things right. that can get you where you need to be. Yeah. Oh, man, that's yeah. great right there. That's yeah, a lot great. of hard work and dedication. That's the recipe for it all, you know, and um, just staying down until you come up. Be patient. And, you know, one thing that I learned from him is you don't always got to stay in the fast lane for everything. Sometimes the slow lane is a good lane to be in because you catch everything. Okay. You know, so just taking my time and being patient and making sure I'm very strategic with the moves I make. Okay, I definitely understand that. So, when we get to as far as like events in the city, right? Like, have any have you ever thought up. about? You know, yeah, like, I actually got something coming up at the Ralston Arena this summer. 
Um, I'm thinking about doing it. Uh, I fight uh, June 16th in Iowa. I forget what city in Iowa, but I fight in Iowa June 16th. So the following month, uh, probably for my year anniversary, I'm going to have an event at the Russian Arena. It's going to be a fitness expo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's going to be okay. Your fight is in June 16th. Yeah. In Iowa. In Iowa. The location is to be determined, right? To be announced. <laughs> the location is to be announced, and I will let people know so we can gas up them cars and come support. Okay, and you have a fitness expo coming. And a fitness expo the following month. Yeah, you have good things coming for you in your a life. A lot, right? lot of right. things coming. Has, has the, have you came across anything in your life to where um, you felt like you wasn't going to make it or... Or, you know, you had, uh, you know, like everybody else, you know, had hills to climb, you know, oh, yeah. obstacle courses, you know. Was there one main deal to where it almost broke you to where you was like, no, I'm not doing anything? Uh, we had a couple of them moments before, you know, um, when no clients were signing up, you know. It's just like, man, I don't even know if I want to do this no more, man. This ain't working for me no more. Clients that aren't signing up, I'm only making $60 a month with this. And... You know, I'm not able to feed my family with it, but then I always, you know, I'm the type of guy where if I get some alone time and I get to thinking by myself, you know, I come up with a masterpiece. So I used to, I isolated myself and, you know, stayed away from the people that said, well, maybe you should try this and maybe you should try that. I shut the world down and I put myself in Trevin's world and that built my confidence up to let me know I can do whatever it is I want to do. And if there's a way that I can get these clients and I'm going to go and find it. And that way that I found it was, you know, um, Sexiness is something a lot of women want, so I had to start catering to that. A lot of women want to feel sexy. You know, a lot of women want to feel, you know, confident when they get dressed. So I had to start directing my, my approach towards that. And when I did that, women started understanding my, what, my concept and why I'm doing this, and they gravitated towards that. That's great. Yeah, and it, and it made a huge turnaround for me. So, you know, I had to stay down until I came up. I had to. Hey, that's the only way everybody learns. You know? Exactly. I mean, that is the best. That's the best way to gain knowledge and self-confidence in order to achieve the goals in your life. You know, so as far as right now, it seems like you're doing a very good job. And I know the women of the community, they love you for that. You know, right. you're steady going to get everything approached to you. You know, all the the, the attention, the, the drive is going to keep you going, the boxing. What um what class are you in as far as boxing? Um well right like as far as what class am I in? Yeah. Well right now we just in uh, there's no classes just you know training at um f five o'clock every day and that's just getting ready for the fight. Then we'll have conditioning in the morning, working on our strength and performance. You know getting stronger and building our endurance up. So. As a two class, those are the two sessions that I have. We call them sessions. Oh, okay. So those are the two sessions that I have throughout the days. Is we do two a days, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning and then uh, so like, five at night. So like around that conditioning, you got to stay away from the barbecue, huh? Yeah, got to stay, <laughs> got to stay away from the barbecue. Got to stay away from uh, 30th and Parker. Yeah, I understand about 30th and Parker. I definitely understand about that. It's <laughs> a lot of good food over there. It's a lot, you know. <laughs> and, you know, it's blessed to have that though, you know. Yeah. And it's also a blessing that you have that mind to be like, okay, I need to focus and keep this going on in my life because this is my life, you know. Yeah. Because a lot of people, they, they try to, they talk about the knowledge, but you know. It's like, what are you doing the next day? Right. You know, versus when you say you eat, but then, you know, you got something going on, you put your mind right back into it. Yeah. You know, some people, they can't take their mind off of it and then try to jump right back into the game because they get lost. Mindset. Get, yeah, exactly. Mindset. And, I, and, and, of course, it's through my mi strong mindset, but it's through the support of my family as well. You know, I have an awesome family, you know, even though they do a lot of cooking, they you know, when I got a fight coming up or if they know I have a goal or something that it needs to be obtained, they make my plate for me instead of letting me make it myself. And I have little smaller portions, you know, I'll be able to enjoy myself or, you know, maybe, you know, my stepdad, if he know I got a fight coming up, instead of serving me a steak, he'll put me a baked piece of baked chicken on the grill or something and keep me healthy. So okay. uh, it's a support system, you know, yeah. that, that support system takes you a long way. Exactly. Because, you know, if you don't have support, I mean, it's like, it's like, um, being crippled, yeah. being crippled in life. I mean, because a lot of people, they don't, they don't, they lack support. And some people, they are strong without it. I, I've noticed some people, like, you know, I've lost this kind of support, but hey, they kept the drive, you know. And some of the people that, with the support, it's like they drive a little, 
a little tough or a little rougher, you want to say, because you have a whole lot of people that's trying to tell you what you need to be doing or whatever. But how do people, how can people reach you and how to sign up for your classes, you know? Uh, you can reach me uh, Instagram, Mr. Top Flight underscore. Uh, you can jump in my DMs through it there or on, uh, I got a business page on Facebook, Top Flight Fitness 402. You can jump in my DMs right there. Also reach me by phone number at 402-452-1109 and um, uh, contact me through their website. will be done in two weeks. Website will be launched off as topflight.fitness and you'll be able to reach me right there and you'll be able to sign up online, um, answer uh, the questions to all your answers. I mean, the, the answers to all your questions is on there as well. All you gotta do is click what class you want and, we, and I'll see you when you get there. All right. Yep. Well, there you have it, man. It's, once again, completed another session. I'd like to thank you, Mr. Top Flight. Yes. I appreciate you coming through. Yes, sir, I appreciate you guys. I like what I see going on around here. I oh, love yeah. it. You know, we try to make everything good as possible, you know. Amen. You know, so um, once again, thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Yard, and you guys have a good day. Peace. Peace.